Hi, my name is Noel Tobin from Tobin No Till. For about 15 years now, we've been manufacturing a single disc opener called the Bullet in Central West New South Wales. And we have listened to farmers and worked with farmers over the years. And we've got a machine that will penetrate rock hard soils, work in rocks, and also operate very successfully in sticky soils. And farmers are demanding more, in particular getting more variation in the row spacing, better contour following ability, better chemical incorporation for pre-emergence. We wanted to put good lateral stability into the machine. We wanted to have remote adjustment of the dip on the go from the tractor cab. What we've done is taken the best components of our current machine, the bullet, and we've designed this new contour following machine called the Tornado, incorporated all the ideas, the features, the components. And I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to bring you the features of this Tornado disc planter. This is an independent parallelogram opener. The main parallelogram, which are those four pivot points, the front of it is actually fixed to the mainframe of the whole machine. And these two links keep this rear link vertical. We've got what we call a secondary parallelogram here, which piggy banks on top of the main parallelogram. The gauge wheel assembly pivots here, but it's pushed up and down via this linkage system. It actually lifts the disc, and that's what adjusts your planting depth. So the planting distance is the distance between the bottom of the gauge wheel and the bottom of the disc, regardless of whether this main parallelogram is up or down. That is pressed into the ground via this linkage here. In this case, it's a spring, also available with hydraulic downward pressure. Uh, then we've got the press wheel, which pivots, pivots here so that th that can rise and fall independently. And it's also adjustable. If we want to press more or less, we use this lever here to change the different positions. One of the limitations of the bullet was the ability to get narrow spacings. It was a single row machine, and because we had this opener with good lateral stability, it had a long pin with bushes supporting it on each side. The closest we could get was 12 inch spacing. With this opener, we can put a two row format, so we can actually get down to about 170 millimeters or around the seven inches mark. Or we can supply it on, on 12 inch spacing, which is about 305 millimeters on a single row. Uh, cropping has been our main stomping ground. This opens us up to a whole new area in daring uh, to grow uh, pasture, rejuvenate your pasture, put in clovers, medics, get some quick feed of oats, or indeed to grow hay. Uh, we can do any spacing down to seven inches. For many years, we've been manufacturing the bullet planter, a trailing arm with four openers on it. If you had a wet harvest, for example, and your chaser bin was in your paddock in wet conditions, you made a lot of tracks and ruts. Uh, there'd be four units following the contours, and sometimes it wasn't enough. For years, I've been wanting to develop this independent opener. The angle of entry of the seed boot into the ground never changes, and that's the beauty of it. There were a few features of our current machine that I was reluctant to let go, and the first one being the ability of the operator to adjust the depth on the go. It's a beautiful thing to be able to go from one paddock to another where you might have a different variety in the bin or you might have softer conditions. You might be going from rock hard clay into sand, for example. The whole thing sinks in. You want to plant shallower. On a lot of machines, you take out a toolbox, you spend half a day or whatever, and farmers just don't do it. They'll say, oh, stuff it, I've only got a couple of hundred acres. I've only got a thousand acres to go and they end up compromising. On this machine, it's a flick of the lever. The other feature of our current machine I was reluctant to let go is the robustness of it, the durability. When the disc opens the trench, it's working all day, every day. There's a lot of side thrust on that disc. If there's side thrust on the disc, there's also side thrust on the bush or bearing. You can gain so much by increasing the diameter of the pin. 
but the real lateral strength and long life pins and bushes is by getting the pin as long as you can. If you want lateral strength, this is easily the way to go. This is not the first disc machine we made. In fact, we've been making disc machines for about 15 years, and it's not that easy to build a machine from scratch. Most components we've used in this machine, we've been using for years, we developed for the bullet. We've stuck with the 24 inch, 610 millimeter disc, rides over rocks very smoothly. And of course, it doesn't rotate as fast because it's got a bigger circumference and it stays going longer in mud. I think the reason for that is the mud is pulling on the bottom of the disc to rotate it. Now, if you were pulling on a disc and it was difficult to rotate in mud, would you like to be pulling on it in here up close or out wide? So the more leverage you have on the center, the better. Also, of course, the bigger disc means the bearing is up out of the mud more. It's not going to be down amongst the dirt and the violence. And a much better chance. We give a three-year warranty and all those bearings, those three bearings are identical. Uh, this scraper we've been using for years. It's a spring-loaded scraper, biased against the disc. Very, very successful, particularly in sticky soils. Keeps the disc clean. So we've got to have a safe passage for the seed into the ground. And that's been very, very successful on our current machine. Also, a large gauge wheel, smooth surface and square. Uh, inside in this press wheel is a, a six millimeter high tensile disc, stop it from wobbling. But basically it's solid rubber, 50 millimeters wide. Similarly with the adjustment for the press wheel, all these mechanisms have come from our current machine. Tobin O'Till is based in central west New South Wales. Some of the hardest soils probably in the world. Some of them are hard setting, sodic, some of them are compacted. Either way, every second farmer has got very, very hard soils. We have been using this system for many years successfully. I have gone into areas where other discs could not penetrate and I've penetrated without a problem. What we're actually doing with the disc is we're making a trench to put the seed into. And the secret to penetrate is the angle of the disc. If you've got the disc at an angle to the direction of travel only, you're pushing that soil along and you're forcing the trench open using compressive forces. If you've got the disc at an angle to the vertical, as well as the direction of travel, you're lifting that soil. So you're separating the soil, which effectively you're making the trench using tensile forces, you're tearing the soil apart. It'll peel the soil up much easier. You're not compacting the soil, the soil that in a split second later, you're going to pack around the seed, but also it's much, much easier on the assembly, much easier on the bearings, the disc, and all the associated componentry. That also means that you've got more penetrating ability for the same geometry, the same downforce componentry, the same weight. So all day, every day, you'll be able to penetrate. This independent parallelogram opener is also available in aftermarket form to go on virtually any machine. In this case, we've got a 75 millimeter frame. Some are 150, some are 100, some are 125. If you need this unit to fit to your existing machine, this front link here is going to be different. And that's virtually the only thing that's going to be different. It's been a great pleasure to bring you the features of this tornado. I'm very, very excited about it. I love the way it follows the contours. I love the lateral stability. I love the strength and the versatility, the fact that we can give you virtually whatever spacing you're looking for. Even though we've been designing this machine for about four years, the experience and the design experience that we've accumulated, it's not just four years, it's 15 years and it's, it's virtually a lifetime. And we're very, very excited about where this is going. And I gotta say, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>